Hello gamers, how are you guys doing? Today I will talk about Shockwave Heavy Weapon. Please consider subscribing to my channel for digital gaming breakdowns, how-tos, guides, vlogs, strategies and tactics posted twice a week. My name is Phil, your good game guide and you are watching Shockwave Heavy Weapon Breakdown in Zombie Roadkill. Coming up. I'm continuing my series of heavy weapons breakdown in zombie roadkill. Let me take you through a complete breakdown of the heavy weapon shockwave, its pros, cons and preferred strategy and tactic which will help you to survive the level to fight another day. Shockwave is unlike any weapon out there. It has the same range as the tesla coil and packs more punch. It has a wide area of attack and cause significant devastation to the zombies both large and small. In many respects, it is similar to the Tesla coil. Amongst the similarities, it can stun zombies and kill them with two hits at the most. I feel the zombies remain stunned slightly longer than the Tesla coil. It is stronger in two things, power and the area of effect within its strike radius. For the sake of comparisons, you can see both the Tesla coil and the shockwave rating side by side. Shockwave has an edge with 4 stars and the area as 5 stars. With regards to the area of effect, this is by far the only weapon to have a complete 360 degrees attack radius. Yes, you heard it right. This makes it the best weapon compared to the Tesla coil when it comes to the area of effect attack. I can say for sure, if you want to prevent the zombies from ganging up on you, the shockwave heavy weapon will work beautifully. The strategy is the same as the tesla coil. Since they can stun the zombies, you can easily switch between your heavy weapon and the machine gun to preserve your ammo. Let me now come to the bosses. Unfortunately, this is not a preferred weapon if you wish to particularly take on bosses. You can very well see here how ineffective it is. The best what you can do is not use it. They cannot be stunned either. This will leave you vulnerable to attack and even lose the level. My advice, don't use it against bosses. For everything else, it is a good weapon. There isn't much I can say about the shockwave heavy weapon though. Other than its kill rate, 360 degrees strike radius, it is a little slow to fire. That is, the shockwave takes some time to hit the zombies. The tesla coil has a near instantaneous kill. No weapon is designed to be perfect. Some weapons have benefits and weaknesses that makes them using them a hard choice. Shockwave is no different and you have to see how effectively you can use this weapon in most levels. Not all levels have bosses however, it is best to avoid using it against bosses in that level. Please check out my other videos up in the cards, end screen and description as well. I would love to hear your thoughts about my videos. Please do like, share and comment. Thank you for watching right till the end. I will see you again next time. Until then, happy gaming.